glasses. So that's the thing. I came in here um, to record in front of this nice big window with nice lighting, but um, I also have the washing machine going, so it's loud. Um, but yes, so I have now gotten to a stage in my life where I need glasses. I needed them as a kid, and then I stopped needing them as a teenager, and now I need them again. Uh... <sighs> so I got a prescription like last October, and I just never got glasses. But now my eyes have started going blurry if I do like art or look at my phone for too long. Um, so I need to get on that glasses thing. So I've got, um, I did like the glasses direct thing because um, a bunch of people suggested it. Um, and they basically send you like four pairs you can drive for free and then you pick one or you get more, whatever, and then you send it back. Um, so I picked out four. I picked out three really colorful ones because obviously. And then I picked one pair of like really boring black and tortoiseshell ones. Okay, bit of a wonky angle, but this is what we have right now. So I have four pairs of glasses. I already know which ones I want to pick. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys the ones I tried on. So there's these ones, uh, which are pink, and I just worried would clash with my skin and my acne. As you do, but I like I like the I like the frames on them. Um, they're very cute. And there's these ones, which are purple, sort of, but they're like a see-through purple, um, which are smaller. So, pretty cute, pretty cute. Um, I like them. I have quite a round face, so I can't get like round frames or really big frames because it just makes my face look non-existent so I have to get quite small ones and either like square or squarish. I really wanted like a pair of the really cute like round wireframe ones but I just looked at them and I was like it's just gonna make your cheeks look even rounder so that's just gonna look terrible and it'll like de-age me like 10 years so I went against that and went with like squarish frames. And there's these which are so cute look at it they go from like this nice tealy turquoisey colour out to like a purpley blue kind of colour. So that's really cute. And these are bigger again. But I don't mind them. I don't think they're as big as the first pair and I don't mind them as much. And I just think they look quite cute with my hair, which I'm getting done tomorrow. What is, speaking of, what is, I don't know what my hair's doing, honestly. It's just fluffy and... <sighs> Um, and obviously they're all colourful, so I decided to also get one boring pair, which are black and then all the tortoise shell on the arm thingies, which were like the glasses I had as a kid. Like I always went with these like sort of rectangular square frames because again, my face was so round. Um, Oh, I just don't think they're very me. I like them. I like the fact that they make my face look less round, a little more long, uh, but they're just not very me. So I'm gonna go with the second and third pair, um, the purple ones and then the teal and purple ones. Um, it's two for one right now. So depending on how expensive the lenses are, I think I'm gonna get them both. Uh, if not, I'm just gonna get the teal and purple ones. Um, so I'm very excited. They're called Luna and Emma. So yeah, now I just have to find the prescription I got in October. <laughs> if I don't have it, this is all for nothing. So let's hope I can find it somewhere. Well, hello, you catch me once again, looking my best. Um, doing art things. I have just finished this liner print, which I don't know if it'll focus on it, let's give it a go. Which basically liner print is just you like do your um, print and you trace it onto this liner, linoleum tile, and then you scrape away, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, like can you see the texture and how it's raised and stuff like that? And well basically uh, you do that and you cut around and then you leave your design. You're meant to mirror the design. Um, I forgot, so the print will be mirrored. 
but that's fine. I haven't done a print since I was in school um, a long, long time ago, so <laughs> um, I forgot that part. I've just realised I don't actually know if I have any ink. Fuck. I did get ink, water-based ink, um, and I've heard you can get fabric ink, which is oil-based, um, to print on fabric and stuff, so I'm planning to, um, I don't know why I held it to my face, um, as if it was a friend. Um, I'm planning to basically print these on both, like, paper, like I've just got a scrap piece of paper, um, but I'm gonna do buy some, I found some ethically sourced cotton tote bags that I can print on. And basically what makes it hard is like you can buy like obviously like 20 white t-shirts on Amazon or online somewhere but I am really trying to run my art business as ethically as possible so um, as little waste as possible which includes the products and stuff. Um, that's the plan. So, um, I had to find that, but I've been working, I mentioned it a few times on stream, I've been working on my website and I'm hopefully going to do all sales from now on um, through my website, because right now it's done through DMs, so I have to keep track of um, my uh, emails, my Instagram messages, my art Instagram messages, my Twitter messages, Discord messages um, to sell prints <laughs> from, and it's just a lot. So I'm hoping to, I've started doing my website and stuff, um, and it's almost done. I basically just don't want to, like, open it until I have, um, a fair amount of products on there. So that's what I'm working on, that's why I want to finish this, um, and I'm going to do a test print of it now, and I'm really scared. <laughs> uh, so come be scared with me. I haven't done this since I was a kiddo. because today's a bit of an admin day for me. Um, my desk is a mess, I'm in the middle of a commission right now. So, so um, this is the like in-between stage of that. Basically, I, I've been really anxious this past week, like really anxious because my office has not been a nice space to work in. I just feel like it's just not organized. I have a real, struggle um, with being surrounded by too much stuff. It's why I don't really buy things for myself. It's why I do a lot of like clear outs and things like that or I try and like uh, get rid of stuff or I try and like buy stuff secondhand and things like that because it just being surrounded by things it just makes me really nervous. I don't know why. I just don't like being surrounded by too much stuff. I like a lot of open space. Um, and it's been really getting to me recently. So I basically couldn't sleep last night because my office, I was just freaking out because I went to my home place yesterday and I went through like loads of old things that I had there and it was also art supplies, which I was like, great, I need those. I can literally use those this week um, and I brought it all back. So then I started panicking more because I was like, well, this is great. I have the stuff that I need, <laughs> but I'm just adding more stuff into my office um so I basically I'm spending the day sorting out my office so I have um recycled loads of clothes I, like loads of textile stuff I've recycled because I had was just I was just surrounded by bags at my art desk that like I was waiting to go recycling or waiting to sell on eBay and stuff like that and in the end I was just like I, I just am so unhappy <laughs> um but I've like consolidated the stuff that I need to take pictures of and sell on eBay um to like six items rather than like the giant bag that I had um so that is much more manageable the bag is much smaller and fits in like a cranny down here 
um, next to my desk and then I have a bag of alterations I need to do half of them I can do myself like on my sewing machine or by hand and the other half uh, I need to take to someone to do so I'm just trying to use this day to just clear my head and sort myself out because I just am um, I just am very like anxious at the moment um, and I think clearing out help I also was feeling a bit more anxious about my space because I tried buying a chest of drills like an old Ikea set off of Facebook um, and the lady took like half a week to get back to me and then they'd already sold by the time she replied so now I've scoured Facebook marketplace ridiculously and there's just nothing so I've now found a chest of drawers on Ikea new um, which I think would be perfect to just like go next to the shelf that's behind you you've seen it if you've watched any of my other vlogs and stuff um, I have this big shelf with like books and stuff on it behind where the camera is I just want like a chest of drawers next to it to store stuff because right now whenever I send out like prints or commissions I have like a box like an old um, like gift box and that's where all my packing materials are uh, which is in my storage cupboard but it would just be so much easier for like my workspace if like I didn't have to bring out this huge box with all my stuff in all the time if I just had like a drawer that I could open with all my packing materials in it's just sort of making my workflow easier and adding less steps into it I think I neglected my needs for so long with my jobs and stuff like I just was like oh I can make do like it's fine like it, it, it's, it's good like you know like <laughs> what I have works um and it it did like I could make it work and I could make like the mess and stuff work but it, it was just making me really unhappy because I just, it's like going to like an office with no windows sort of thing it just it just you you are just there and you're just doing your job um and it's not the happiest of places to be um so i'm trying to like make my office a place that i like being in um and that's organized and like helps me do my job and stuff like that as opposed to just i just come in here and i work like i work more often in my kitchen than i do in here sometimes just because that room is more organised, it's less messy, there's less stuff in it, and so I just feel better. But then that completely destroys the purpose of like separating work and relax space. Like I just have stuff on my desk, like this is the, the current project that I'm doing, but like I just have a light thing there, and I usually keep like my palette on my desk, and like my sewing machine lives here, and then like I have a shelf up here that you can't see that's just got like my pack more packing materials up there like my wax seals and stuff like that and like my varnishes up here on this shelf which is fine but it just like it just it it just doesn't look nice and it's just like they're not there because it's practical they're there because that's the space that i had um so i'm trying to work on like calming my anxiety and just like making this a nicer space to be in but in addition you might notice i have glasses now i have needed glasses since like last year and i just my script my prescription was so small that i just didn't bother um but i started getting lots of headaches and my eyes started like about halfway through the day if i'd been working like they <laughs> they would just go blurry and my eyes would just stop working um so i finally bit the bullet and got glasses they're from glasses direct um, and they were doing like a two for one frame thing so I think I got like and, they, and then they were doing like 40% off so I think I got what was meant to be like £218 worth of like frames and lenses I think I got it for like £89 it's so hard to see the tie screen there we go that's the best I can do um, you might be able to see they like I like this tealy colour in the middle and then they're like purple on the edges I don't know if you can see that um, but yeah, they're really nice, they're comfy. And then I have these which arrived a couple of days ago, which are smaller frames. And these are called the Lunars. There's actually finger marks all over them. They're the Lunars, so they're a bit smaller. Um, I don't know which ones I prefer. Like, um, when I first put these on today, I was like, oh, these ones are so much nicer. Like, they're smaller and my face is, you know, because I have quite a round face. Um, I need <laughs> some of the frames I wear. I can't, like, have too big a frame because it makes my face look smaller and rounder 
um, and with my friend as well, it just it just makes it just cuts me off. It looks like I have a bowl cut. Um, but now I'm wearing these all day. I sort of prefer these ones because they're a darker frame. So I don't know. I like them both, and now I'm just like sport for choice. But they're really nice. I like both of them. Just, I was just sitting down to update you on that. So now I'm just going to carry on with um, just cleaning and stuff. Let's go. We're back here again. <laughs> okay, so office cleanup is more or less done as much as I can do right now. There's still, my hallway is filled with like art supplies that I'll get to eventually. Um, but right now I'm, basically my whole life right now is revolving around opening my art store on uh, my website. I have not, when I graduated um, uni, we, <laughs> just down here. Uh, when I graduated uni, part of um, our like thing of graduating was we had to create our own website, like a portfolio site. So I did that and I have been paying for it <laughs> every year since I graduated. It's like four or five years now. I've lost count. And it would just be so much easier for me to be like, hey, just go to like this website and you'll be able to add it there or just email me here and it'll just make my life so much easier. So my whole life has been revolving around... Um, doing products for that um, and like getting prints sorted out and opening that up and one of the things I really wanted to do was I really wanted to print my own t-shirts and tote bags and so um, I wanted to practice um, liner printing so I took the smoky lady piece that I the painting I did um, and I turned it into a liner print and uh, I did a practice of it, like printing it, and people seem to like it. Um, so hopefully, uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, do another one after that practice because, as you can see, like I there's like raised bits. I don't know if it'll show up on camera. There's like raised bits that caught the ink uh, on little parts of it. So I'm just going to cut those away um, so that it doesn't show up in the prints and stuff. Um, and then I'm going to do like. Uh, another print on like some nice paper, um, take some like product photos of it to put up on the website to sell. Um, I have ordered some fabric ink and some tote bags. The tote bags have arrived, however the fabric ink will not get here for a month. So I just have 50 um, tote bags sat in my hallway until the ink comes. So I cannot sell the tote bags yet. Uh, but I can sell some little prints of this thing. So yeah, so I don't know if by the time this video goes out my website will be up. I'm planning to finish. I want to get, basically i got two things left to do, I feel like, before I be like, hey, here's my website, if you want to buy a piece, go there. And that is product photos of this, product photos of the stickers. So I give stickers out, um like a free random one, I get a stick, I put a sticker in anytime anyone like, uh, like buys a commission or buys a print from me, um, but it was just sort of like if you want to buy all three, you can get all three of them for four pound including postage, um, sort of thing. So I need to, I've done product photos, I just need to edit the stickers, um, the, the photos of the stickers, and then I want to finish my latest illustration, which I'll oh, grab it. And then I want to finish my latest illustration to sell and also do prints of, which is this, um, which I literally just needs a background on it, and then I just need to take it some nice photos of it and take it into Photoshop. Um, but it's pretty much done. The plan is for it to clash with the vermilion pencil. Um, I don't know if it will, but if it does, that's kind of what I want. I've just been, um, I've been trying to basically finish this, and uh, I've had a few commissions come up, so I've been trying to get those done because they, they they take priority over like my personal stuff, and also trying to like set up my website at the same time whilst also streaming, whilst also streaming like 22 plus hours a week plus all the stream admin stuff. So um, yeah. Just, we're just taking it as it comes, really. Taking it as we go.
my shelves are here, my office is finally going to be organised, I'm going to have room for all of my art supplies. I just have to clean the room out and build it, but it's going to be fine. It's really heavy, um, but it's fine. It's going to be fine. It's also like 30 degrees today, so... Oh, um, it's fucking boiling, but it's fine. Again, it's all fine. All fine. Again, it's fine. It, it's going to be great. <laughs> all right. Let's, let's try and build this shit. My office is going to be so pretty afterwards. 